Hello, welcome to Your Simple Golf Swing. I'm Matt. In this video, I'm going to talk to, you, talk to you about the worst mistake that I made when I started to learn the game of golf. Now, when I took an interest in golf, I took a serious interest in, into it. I dove in head first. I could not read enough about golf. I could not watch enough videos. Back when I learned it, the reading that was available was books by Harvey Pennick, uh, Ben Hogan, Jack Nicklaus, and then all the different golf magazines that still had print magazines that you would get in the mail or that you would go buy at a newsstand. And I would read every tip that was in those magazines. I would read, I read all three of those books and I read some other books. And then for video, what we had back then was VHS tapes and you had to order those and, or, you know, go up and go and buy them in a, in a golf store or whatever. So I collected VHS tapes of, of people like Hank Haney, Butch Harmon, David Ledbetter, John Elliott, um, Ken Venturi. And I just watched these videos over and over and over and tried to learn the golf swing. Now, why do I say that was the worst mistake that I ever made? Well, I'll tell you why. There are so many different golf swings out there and there are so many different golf instructors out there and they all teach their own version of the swing. So what I was actually coming up with, when I, the swing that I actually developed when I first started learning, was a hodgepodge of all these different schools of thought on how to swing a golf club. Let me give you an illustration. Let's talk about four legendary golfers. No, we're gonna talk about five, okay? You got Jack Nicklaus, Arnold Palmer, Lee Trevino, Gary Player, and let's go, go all the way back to Bobby Jones. You look at all four of them, all four of them swung the club very different than the other. None of them had a similar swing. They were very different. So when you're spending time learning every different tip that's out there, you're learning tips from all these different schools of thought, from all these different people that have their own different swing theories. And what that's going to do is that's just going to create a hodgepodge of a swing for you. And nothing's going to be consistent. One of the reasons being is because these different schools of thought, not all of their tips and techniques are going to be compatible with what you learned from the last guy. I just saw a video this morning on this guy who's he's a, a renowned instructor on YouTube. He's one of the top instructors on YouTube. I really like the guy. I like his energy. Uh, he's fun to watch. But he just recently put out a video that basically it, the title was something like, I just discovered this wrist position and I'm never going back. And I found it very interesting because it's, it's the wrist position that you learn in the Your Simple Golf Swing Method, the same wrist position that Mike Dunaway taught and Mike, Mike Austin taught. And he's just now discovering this, even though he's a well-accomplished instructor. Um, and then when I watched his video, he talked about certain adjustments you had to make in order to do this new wrist position that he had just discovered. Well, the reason he has to make adjustments is because that wrist position is not compatible with the swing that he already knows and that he's already honed. Okay, now this is a guy that plays very good golf. He's a good instructor, I respect the guy. But now you as an amateur, you as a, as a, a club player or a weekend golf warrior who, who doesn't, you know, you've got a regular nine to five job and you only get out on the course a couple of times a month or whatever. If you're trying, if you learn a swing from this guy and then you're listening to tips from this guy, this guy, and this guy, all that's gonna do is frustrate you. All that's gonna do is just hurt your game. Well, what I did, I finally got to the point to where I was so frustrated. I knew that I had some golf talent. I was scoring halfway decent for a, for a new guy, but I was so confused in the swing, I just decided, I'm gonna learn one swing method and I'm gonna tune everything else out. I just so happened to have stumbled across the Mike Austin swing method, which I think by, by far is the best swing method out there. And the reason, be, be, the reason for it is because it's so natural, it's efficient, effective, and powerful. So anyways, I decided I'm gonna learn this one method in this one method alone. I'm gonna tune everyone else out. And I worked really hard to learn this method and I've never looked back. It's made me very happy and I know better than to let other swing tips and swing thoughts into my game because it's just gonna it's just gonna derail what I've learned. So what does this mean to you? 
Well, this means that what you need to do is you need to find one school of thought, whoever that may be, whether it's Hank Haney, whether it's Butch Harmon, David Ledbetter, whoever you want to learn the swing from, learn only from that person. Don't learn from anyone else. Don't take what I'm trying to teach and incorporate it in, into your hodgepodge swing that you already have because you're gonna find it's not gonna work really well for you and you're just gonna be frustrated. You're gonna be hearing me talk about what Mike Austin was able to do. You'll hear me talk about what all my students are able to do, what I do when I go out on the golf course and you'll be thinking, why can't I do what those guys are doing? Well, it's because what I teach does not, does not match with what some of the other people are teaching and vice versa, what they're teaching, you can't take that incorporate and incorporate it into what I'm teaching. With all of my students that take my online course, one of the things I tell them is I tell them, okay, stop watching all other videos. And the reason I'm doing that is, is not because I want a monopoly on their attention. You know, if they've already bought the course, they've bought the course, okay? I'm not getting any more money out of them. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to eliminate confusion and frustrations for them in the future. And I've had people that have taken the course and they later come back and say, hey, I was watching this guy and he said to do this, you know, and I just have to remind them, look, you got to decide. Do you want to do the Mike Austin swing, the Your Simple Golf Swing method, or do you want to try someone else's? If you want to, that's fine. Go ahead. You know, I have nothing against that. I just happen to believe that the swing that I'm teaching is the most universal swing that's out there and anybody can learn it of any anybody at any age any ability it can learn this swing i'm a big believer in it and i will continue to push it and ask you to buy my online course so you can learn it but keep in mind once you do once you commit you have to tone everything tune everything else out just like if like I said, if, if you were watching all David Ledbetter stuff and you bought his program, you bought his books and you bought his videos and you're learning what he teaches you, don't take my golf trip tips and try to incorporate that into what he's teaching you. It'll just confuse you. It'll just frustrate you. And you'll find that neither his tips nor my tips are working for you because they're just not compatible. So the biggest mistake, again, that I ever made was looking at every bit of information I, I, out there that I could on the golf swing, it just confused me and I never got anywhere. So what should you do? What should you do if your swing is built uh, by tips from all different walks of life and you've got a hodgepodge swing that you're trying to hold together with band-aids? Well, what I recommend to you, and of course I will always recommend my course first, but anybody's course out there, find instructors that have a full course that teach you the entire swing, starting from the way you grip the club, the way you stand, the way you address the ball, even the way you approach the ball, how you start your backswing, your transition, every aspect of the swing. Find somebody who teaches that and scrub your swing. Just completely scrub your swing, start from scratch. Dive headfirst into their instruction, their instruction alone, and focus on learning the fundamentals all over again, just as if you were a new golfer. That is the best way that you can clean out all of the bad habits and all the bad quirks that you have in your swing. It's your quickest way to start shooting incredible golf. And again, I highly recommend you go down into the link, check out my course, click on the link, get signed up, and you can get started right away. You can learn this, this swing in just a matter of a couple of days. But again, you know, if the Mike Austin swing is not your cup of tea and you want to learn Butch Harmon or David Ledbetter or Hank Haney or anyone else that's out there, go for it. Just remember, you have to be exclusive or your attention has to be exclusively on that instructor and what they teach. Do not try to incorporate all these different instructors into your golf swing. It won't work. It won't work at all. So I hope this helps you out and I wish you all the best. And for those of you that want to take the plunge, again, jump down in the description. There's a link for my online course so you can get started. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and a great season.